Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do what we did last week, which seemed to have been very, very well received, which is we're going to be doing a video completely dedicated to lineup construction uh, for this week's MMA slate. Um, MMA, more than, I'm not saying any sport, but similarly to some other sports, but not similar to others, um, it's really about that magical DFS balance between um, creating lineups that are more likely to win and those lineups that are more likely to win a lot. Okay, um, With an 11 fight card, it really uh, is a challenge to strike that balance. I mean, you really do want to get unique and yet you don't want to play lineups that have no chance and you have incredible tools at your disposal to utilize to make that work. And what's cool about DFS is the fact that there's no complete answer to what that balance is, and there's no complete answer to how to do this. So that's the reason why I'm continuing continuing to have some fun with this and do this as a project is because, you know, it's it's a puzzle that's not been solved, and it allows you to keep trying and keep thinking about different things. And as I learn more about how to use SaberSim and the various tools at my disposal, um, it, it's, you know, I keep trying these things. and. And you guys are the beneficiaries of that because you can see me struggle and see me come up with stuff as I do it and share my thoughts with you. So again, um, I did a video already when uh, dealing with the uh, the plays, okay? I mean, it's really not difficult to come up with what the good plays this week. I mean, you have a, you know, just to review, I mean, you have, you have a $7,100 guy who is a minus 120, plus 120 underdog who is also plus 200 to finish. Um, so, I mean, this is obviously a really good play. And his opponent, Tim Elliott, um, is a really good play also, as very, very well-priced at 8,400. He's getting a lot of takedowns, so these guys are both very, very good plays. And then you have uh, good underdogs like Anthony Smith, who's 7,300 with a good inside-the-distance prop. You have, um, you can even argue Anthony Muniz is an okay underdog with a good inside-the-distance prop. And then you have these favorites such as well, Song in a five-round fight probably looks like a good play. You have uh, Park, the, the the expensive one, who's minus 350 to finish and minus 150 in the first round. I mean, that's a good play. The Garcia-Costa fight is a good fight to kind of play both sides. It's Finding the good plays themselves are not it's not difficult. But to build lineups, specifically lineups that have a chance to win the big cheese, that is that is difficult because you only have 11 fights. Um so let me go through, again, the, the processes, all right? So I think the first thing that you have to do, okay, you have to have your projection set or whatever it is. So you can either use Sabersons, you can use Roto Grinders, you can use Fantasy Crunchers, you could use the True DFS ones, which are basically my own kind of like secret sauce, combining different models and putting my own tweaks on it. But you have to start with something. OK, so I mean, what I did, I'm going to upload my own projections into the into the uh, into the into Sabersim. But, you know, that's totally up to you what projections to use. OK. Um, and yes, yeah, so ha they have to be pretty solid. And they have to be sound. And I think this is a pretty good set, actually. Um, and then you can decide before you build whether to tweak on top of this. OK. And in a way. I guess I do find that healthy. You know, if you just for whatever even feel that something should be a little higher to add it a little bit. Um, but by the time it gets to this point in my process, I've already kind of done this, but I will give a little uh, look-see just to make sure that I'm not missing anything really. Um, but I've done a lot of work on this one. I'm pretty, pretty confident in this. So the first thing that you need to do, I, this is what I'm doing is just run a build of 150. And again, we're talking about completely how to build for the 150. Um, run a build just like this, putting it on SIM, 5,000. As a matter of fact, let's let's not put any salary restraints at all. I mean, the idea is that if in fact, you know, you get to a $42,000 lineup organically, then, uh, you know, you're going to want that. That's the bottom line. Um, that answers the question people ask me all the time. Do you, do you set minimum salaries? No. I mean, if there's a lineup that's going to get there that has happens to have a minimum salary or something, then I'll do it. 
Um, a better question is, do I ever do max salary? And yeah, we're going to get to that. So what I think I'm going to do, this is going a little bit slow because again, it's 5,000 lineups of, oh, wait, we have to do one thing. I do, you have to decide at the beginning whether you want to not use opposing fighters or not. Uh, if you don't click this, you can get lineups with multiple fighters. And you could argue that an 11 fight card that could be optimal. But this is a very interesting decision that you need to make at the beginning. Because um, usually those fights don't get there, but every once in a while they do. And if you click on, if you unclick, don't use opposing fighters and allow yourself to get to them, you're really putting a lot of faith in the algorithms, you know, to, to, to simulate the results where both fighters get there. I'm not 100% convinced that it's capable of doing that so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to stop and i'm going to rebuild this and and click don't use opposing fighters what i can always do in the um like i can always do is after the fact kind of force in some stacks if i want them but i think that for the at least for the initial build we're going to just leave it as don't use opposing fighters um, so I'll give you guys a break. I am going to pause this until this this uh, initial set is run, and uh, I'll be back. For you, it'll be two seconds. For me, it'll be like five, three minutes. All right, so we built 150 lineups, and it's important to know what we're looking at here, okay? So we built 5,000 lineups, and it's ranking them in certain ways. Now, this first set of lineups this first ranking system this thing called mma default as i went over it last week this method of sorting or ranking is really really aggressive okay uh just to kind of get after it i mean they they're really factoring in just everybody's ceiling performance and you're also really reducing ownership um, so if you want to get access a set or a way of ranking lineups that is really super aggressive, uh, you can just stick with this MMA default. Uh, you really have to have some serious vision um, to, 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 to click this, okay? If you just look at the, the plays that are the highest owned up there, like 90% hack grass, like these are legitimately like the worst plays. I mean... I mean, like on a median basis, but again, if you're looking for ceiling, you know, um, and low ownership, this is something that you can really, really do. So what I like to do, I like to allocate a certain number of lineups just for this. Okay. Uh, and again, it requires a little bit of trust in the system, so to speak. Okay. But I, I really think it's important to get at least a certain subset of your lineups with, with this MMA default um, ranking. Now, I will make min uniques too to, you know, to reduce the ownership of some of these some of these plays up here at the top. But I, I think this is a very, very sharp way to at least diversify 150 set. Now, how many of these you play is kind of up to you. Um but I think that if you play like a third of your lineups with the um, with this uh, with this uh, setting, I think you're really just getting ahead of the game. And you know, you listen, you play enough MMA, you, you see how often plays that you don't imagine can hit optimal just hit optimal. Um, so I think that a third of your lineups here you should play, and you almost shouldn't even look to see what you have. I mean, if you want, you could go maybe min uniques three, you know, to make yourself a little more spread out. And I think that makes a little bit of sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to save these. Now, where am I going to save them? Well, you could put them in the favorites column. Okay. But I also have a, uh, a, a, um, a spreadsheet that will, I'll show you what it's going to do in a minute, but let's just save these 150. We'll save these to a CSV but we have to name it the right way. So I won't forget what it is. So there's going to be MMA default. 
um, call this uh, within within MMA. Yeah, we'll call it uh, MMA default fifty default fifty, and then we'll make sure we get the date right, just in case twelve nine. Okay. All right. So that's one thing that I think I might do. The other thing that you can do is let's go back to the quote unquote the regular ranking. So we're going to rank them by MMA sim diversity. Now let's get back to main unique's one. And and this is sim diversity 100 is essentially Saber Sims ranking that does account for a great amount of upside and, and randomness, but within MMA uh, this is not as uh, off the board as you might think because of what it's called. You know, uh, when we first came out with like Sim Diversity, there was like different rankings you could play, like 30 or 40. And if you jam the slider all the way to 100, it gave the impression that you were playing like really, really crazy lineups. But when it comes to MMA, um, these types of lineups, these Sim Diversity 10, um, these are basically your, your you know, are going to be kind of like your good plays. Like in general, you know, it's not um, it's not going to be your kind of like completely off the board plays. But as you see, I mean, you know, you're getting guys that, you know, well, with the exception that you said, he's kind of the outlier here. Um, but you're getting all kinds of other of other guys. Um, you, you know, your typical, your normal type of plays. Now, the thing is, is when you if you play these, you're probably running the risk of being duped. OK, so you have to kind of you have to take this main set and and undupe yourself a little bit. Now there's only I mean there are a couple of ways, but there the two main ways to reduce dupes and still have like kind of reasonable lineups, I guess, is is one is just to be less owned, right? That seems to make sense. Um, and to do that, you have to do well. What I like to do is do geo mean filtering where you take the uh, the sum product or whatever and, and you sort of set a limit on what you can play. And we'll go over that, like what number to put in there for a minute. And the other thing that you can do is to keep, not worry too much about the individual player ownerships, but to manually reduce salary um, to hopefully have the, you know, decently owned players that just don't project as well on a raw basis. Um, uh still get there, hit their ceilings. And because they're, they're the salaries that you leave like money on the table, that that combination of, of players is low owned. So those are the two ways you can do it. So we're going to, we're going to do that with this main, you know, set of MMA sim diversity lineups. Um, and the first thing we'll do is we will um, do geo meat filtering. So um, the, and we're gonna to get to do doing contest sims in a minute. Okay. But let's uh figure out how you know what the limits are. So fortunately, I saved these contest sims for no other reason than to remind myself of how many players there are. So there's 22,875 entrants. So we pull up our spreadsheet here, and we already put this in. So Six players in a lineup, 22,875. If you only want one dupe, you need a geometric mean of 18.7. And that's going to be very difficult to get to. I'm just telling you. I mean, just to show you how hard this is, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do filter. We're going to show all of the lineups in this, sub, in this set of 5,000, okay? That's got a geometric mean of less than 19, okay? Which is, you, you'll see. You'll see what happens here. So there are only 19 lineups of this entire, think about that. There are only, this is how hard it is to get unique. There, there are ni only 19 lineups of that set of 5,000 that rate to have zero dupes, okay? Um, very, very tough. So what we should do, is probably so you have two choices here number one you could go right on to the next thing like in other words you can just take these 19 lineups and then go on to start leaving money on the table or you could be greedy but not greedy or you could just make us do some concessions with a geometric mean and not need to only have one dupe okay like for example 
we go back into our spreadsheet and let's say having five dupes is fine. Then now you have a 24 geometric mean and you probably get to that pretty easily. So let's take a look at what that is required. Um, add filter, show geometric mean um, less than 24. It's going to be pretty easy to get to, I think. Yeah. So you can get to 50 um, and, and minimize your dupes to five, I think pretty easily. Um, and, and remember what's going on here. You know, you, you already put 50 lineups together that are sorted by MMA default, which is pretty, which is pretty aggressive <laughs> anyway. So I don't think that it's unreasonable to get a little less aggressive with your geometric mean filtering. So I think this is 100% fine. So the only thing, again, you want to think about is whether to go min uniques two, min uniques three. Doesn't really make too much of a difference to me here. Um, but again, the more the more uniques, I think, the better. Um, well, let's see what happens. We go up to two. Um, yeah, we'll just min uniques two is fine. And we'll 50 lineups, what we're going to do is we're going to save these. And remember, we've got to remember what we're saving here. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to call this GeoMean24 or GeoMean5 dupes. How about that? GeoMean, or let's just call it five dupes. Five dupes, uh, and then the date 12, not eight. All right. So the the other thing that you can do is is leave money on the table. Now, now the problem here is that you just don't know like how much to leave on the table. You know, like you, you're you're I'm sure there are ways to figure that out, like how much money to leave on the table, but I can't, I don't know really the mathematical formula, you know, to, to figure that out. Um, so we could just, we could just guess if you want. And I guess there's a certain degree of wisdom to that. Um, not wisdom, at least something. So the way you would do that. So what I would do first is before I would leave money on the table, I would want to make sure that uh, I, I do a little bit more with my rankings before uh, leaving money on the table. So what I want to do is I want to do the contest sims here. Uh, again, I saved these in here already. I have, uh, let's save these, the MME, the the knockout, you know, and the, you can get that from the contest part. You know, you go into contests and again, you right click here, you hit add contest sim and that's how it saves it for you. Okay. Um, so what we do is we could just put, you know, run the contest sims. Well, you'll see that this one wasn't checked. There's a good idea to check that one, but it's already pre-saved as MME, so that's fine. And then after that, we'll we'll leave money on the table. Now I will tell you this that if you decided that you know, this type of approach wasn't for you, that you didn't want to get unique, this would be the next best thing. In other words, if you use the contest sims, that's at least doing something to get yourself a little more unique, uh, theoretically, because it's presuming that it knows what the rest of the field is playing. Um, so if you wanted for your last 50 to not leave money on the table in per on purpose, and just ran this regular contest sim, like just like this. I think that's okay. Um, it's definitely to get your overall lineup uh, a little, I don't want to say chalky, I guess. But I mean, if you look through some of these, like these, like these, look at these geometric means. Some of these aren't bad. You know, 30, 30. And that's one thing you could do. I mean, you can make sure you're not, you don't get completely duped. And you could take this and, uh, like, for example, let's look at back at this geometric mean thing. Like, what if I don't want anything with a – what if it's 10 dupes? Ugh, I, I really don't want anything with more than 10 dupes, honestly. So you could take this and you could sort these by geometric mean 27. And I think I think you're within your rights to do that. Okay. 
without really having to leave money on the table on purpose. So let's take it, let's again do a geometric mean after the contest sim less than 27, which should be, I mean, shouldn't be very difficult. Okay. Um, which looks fine. Um, and then we will save these. And we're going to call this uh, Contest Sims 10 Dupes. We'll call it Sims 10 Dupes. Okay. So the question I have is how many lineups have we saved? We've saved... 50 saved by MMA default. We saved 50 filtering by geometric mean for five dupes. And we've saved 50 for uh, using contest sims, saving for 10 dupes. So does that mean we've saved 150 lineups? Not necessarily, right? Because it's possible that some of those filters captured lineups different ways you know it's possible that one lineup fit all of those so we have to figure out which of those how many actual full lineups we have so that we can figure out how many we have left to go because i have a couple of ideas of what else i i might want to do so again this is you could either upload all these to your favorites or you could upload those to DraftKings, and it will automatically filter out the dupes but if you don't but my, my DraftKings lobby right now is so filled with all these lineups that I've created in the past. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Soccer's a horror show. Um, so like here, I have all these lineups that are in here. And if I replace them, then it's going to have like 300 other lineups. I, you know what I mean? So I really don't know what's going on. So what I, what I have here is this little tool that I'm going to put up on my site one of these days. Um, it's But it, it has a macro. So I don't know if I can put into Google Drive. Um, I actually can't. So there's got to be another way to do it, but I'll I'll put it up here at least. So what this does is it gives me a, a way to put as many lineups as I want here, and then remove the amount of lineups that are that are mentioned more than once. So what we got to do is we'll go into um, our files. Where are our files anyway? Um, let's look at downloads. No, no, no. They were, you know, where we save everything, right? It was in the MMA file. MMA. Okay. So let's first uh, do the Sims 10 dupes. Should be 50 here. Or putting them in this little calculator, I'll show you. Um, oops. Put those in here. And then we'll go to the next one, which is the, remember the, 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 the five dupes one. Five dupes geometric mean. And we'll put those after this. And then we will go to the last one, which was the, the defaults, right? The MMA default, that really aggressive build. And we'll put these in here. And those will go here. So we've put 150 lineups of these from the previous uh, query. And we're going to run this little macro and it'll remove the duplicate. So but we're going to see exactly how many actual lineups we create. I, I Probably close to 150, but we'll see. So uh, yeah, so we there are 14 lineups that uh, that were that came off in uh, in different uh, in different builds. So we're going to remove those. Well, we're not going to remove them. We're going to only make sure there's there's once. So we have now 136 lineups. So we have 14, we have room for 14 lineups of other stuff, okay? So the only thing that we haven't done yet 
is done something where we leave money on the table on purpose. So I think we should probably do that. Now, what I like, listen, so what I like to do, this is where I like to kind of take my stand a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, again, this is just my own take here. I happen to think that this Garcia Costa fight is, is a fight that should be locked in. Um, so what I will probably do is, is do a rule where I will do, you know, uh, 50%, you know, make sure I'll go 50% Costa, 50% Garcia. Okay. Um, and then I'll run 14 lineups that way. And the other thing I could do, I could cheat, right? I could look at my exposures and then I could say, oh, what do I not feel comfortable with? And then just kind of like, let's say I, I don't have any of a, of a fighter. I'll, I'll give you a, actually a perfect example. So let's look at, actually, I don't know. I really don't even know what my exposures are in total yet. Well, let's just say I was getting zero of like Song Kanan, for example. And I'm like, ooh, do I feel comfortable with that? And then I could build 14 lineups with Song Kanan in them. Um, but that's no fun. I mean, that, that that's really, once you start, you know, putting your emotions involved in it, it's just kind of asking for it. So listen, if I'm getting no Song Kanan, I'll get no Song Kanan. That's just kind of the way it is. Um, so what we'll do is we will do a rule here. Let's see. So there's two things we're going to do. This is, I think this is actually going to be pretty neat. So we're going to build seven lineups with, um, with Garcia and seven lineups with Costa. Now this is, again, don't try this at home. Okay. But this is what I recommend. And I've talked about this before. So we're going to lock in Garcia. Where is he? Just for seven lineups. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave the difference between him and his opponent on the table. So Garcia is 7,200. I, I believe. Let me just make sure. Garcia is 7,200. So he's 1,800 less. So we're going to make sure to leave 1,800 on the table. So we're going to make it 48-1 as the max salary. Um, and the reason for that is because, you know, if Garcia wins, you forget if Garcia wins, lineups that have, say, 9,200 or 9K left are always going to go to Costa because he's going to rate as a higher median projection. Um, so those Garcia lineups that leave the 1800 on the table are even going to be more lower owned. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So we could either do the, so let's do it. Um, Ab initio is about to say, Let, let's, let's leave the 40. How much we leave on the table? 1800, 1900. So for 48,100. Okay. And we're going to play only seven lineups. And we actually don't have to do anything else. Right? Because we're sorting them by sim diversity. So we're not filtering any other way. You know, whatever. We're making the good plays, except that we just have Garcia in all of them. And we're having 48,000. Well, where's the where's my filter? Hold on a minute. Oh, we gotta filter it here. So add filter salary less than forty-eight thousand. Well, less than forty-eight thousand two hundred, actually. So perfect. Um so we will save these to the CSV. We're going to put those in that dupe thing just to make sure we don't have them again. Copy. Um, dupe test. Put that in here. And then um, we're going to use Costa in seven lineups. So we're going to get rid of him. We're going to use Costa 
We're going to lock him in. And what are we going to do about this? Okay. So um, we have to leave something on the table. Um, but um, we're going to have to leave something on the table. We just don't know exactly what it is. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave the amount of money on the table that would get him to Hyung Sung Park. Because Hyung Sung Park is definitely the best play on the slate. So if there's 9,500 left on the table, for example, is it 96? Let me see. Uh, we'll apply this. Um, if uh, 9,500. So if there's 500 left between and, and there's one spot to fill in, you're going to play Park in your optimizer instead of Costa. So we're going to play Costa and make sure to leave 500 on the table. Okay. Um, but the other thing that we have to make sure to do is to X out Park. Okay. So it's going to be Costa because otherwise what will happen is we could put it to leave 500 on the table. It won't play Park, but it'll play somebody else. Right. So, so we're going to X him out. Or we can just minus him from here. That works. Um, we'll take out this filter. And then we will leave salary less than, just not a big deal, 49500 so what this is doing is it's getting cost of lineups, leaving 500 on the table. It's correct here. There's only 500. Let's make sure. Yep. So it's getting Costa, no park, and leaving 500 on the table. And sorting by sim by sim diversity. We actually don't even need two uniques for this. We will save this. We want two lineups. We want, oh, sorry, I want seven lineups. We just didn't want more than one unique, right? Okay, perfect. So seven lineups, Costa, we're good. Save these. I was going to give me two. Um, I want seven. Um, well, seven lines. Why is it not giving me seven? Start over, I guess. I'm gonna get this. So, one, two, three, five, six, seven, right? And but I want to filter. Well, let's let's do twenty. Hold on, we're gonna do fifty. Fifty lineups. When we thirty-seven total, we will have salary less than. 49,500. So now I only want seven. It's only giving me two. Why is it only giving me two? What if it gave 20? This is work. This works. I don't know what the problem is here. Anyway, this is giving me what I want. So let's let's download these. I'll take the top seven. So it's Costa, no park, leaving 500 on the table. Put these in here. Now let's, again, let's make sure that we don't have anything double duped. Remove duplicate lineups. Any dupes in here? One dupe. So we have 149 lineups. So we can add one lineup of your favorite, all right? So what we're going to do, well, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to enter these, and then we'll hand build one just for just for funsies, okay? How about that? So we're going to copy these. We're going to go into our contests. Uh, lineups, edit entries, okay. downloads, 
and there's going to be one uh oh one dupe whatever it is so here's my 149 lineups and then to remember that which one i have to add i'm just going to dupe one at the end and then just so and i'm also going to save all these as my 555 uh just for a second i'm going to change all that but just so that I can see what I'm looking at here. Okay, so we'll save these, upload these. And this is kind of like, this last thing is what I call the John DeMott theory. The John DeMott theory was something back from the racetrack like a long time ago. And that what that is, is, is you... Um, you go and you bet like all these things at the track. You bet like this guy did this exactly this trifecta. And when it's like one minute to post, I would I would ask him, like, okay, so you bet all this stuff. Now, what's gonna come in right now that's gonna really make you pissed that you don't have? And then you make sure you just go bet that also. So that's what we have. We have one lineup left for that. What's gonna really make me pissed if I don't have? <laughs> So now is where we have to kind of cheat a little bit and see what our exposures are. And it's a little annoying, but whatever. So let's let's go ahead and do this and let's just see what our ownerships are. Let's see who our lowest owned guys. So I have like only 10% of Song Kanan. All right. Is that going to really make me mad? Well, this is actually interesting. I only have 17% Garcia, which is very surprising to me because I really like that spot. But, you know, I only got what I got. Um. So this is the one that actually is going to make me mad. So if Garcia wins and there's a lineup that I don't have, I am going to be kind of pissed. Okay. And we're going to look up here and we're going to see my top owned guys. So I have more hack for us, obviously, than I would have thought and more juicet than I would have thought. So it's got to be a lineup with, with, with Garcia, probably Kanang, no Jusset and no, uh, and no hack for us. So let's get in here. So this is the this is the 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 dupe lineup. So this is one I'll remember. All right. So what this is going to be, we're going to clear the field here. It's got to be it's got to be Garcia. It's got to be Song Kanong. And we got to start with that. And it can't be any of these guys. It's probably got to be with the guys I have the least amount of. I guess that's the one that's going to make me the most upset, right? Uh check this. I only have 16% Sumadarji. That's pretty brutal. So let's 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 get let's get one of these. So now we have three cheapos. What nine K guy do I not have much of? Um uh okay, I don't have much brown tree, so we'll play him. We don't have much uh what else don't we have that much of as far as the top guys? I guess we have pretty much everybody so we could just to basically put our just pay up for the salary and just get these guys like this and we're not going to play the main event in the spin right. so uh all right this is this is fair so we're going to play that one in the in that last of the 150. so you see what we've done here right i mean we built like 150 lineups using different filters and i feel as though we have a good set you know, um, it's a combination of what we think are good plays, but also, you know, making those types of sacrifices. Now, as far as what I'm going to be doing in the um, in my big buy-ins, uh, I mean, obviously, I can't just you know just tell you exactly what that's going to be. But at the very least, what I am going to do is I'm going to rely on the Sims to, to some degree. So uh, let's. Uh, I did run my my contest Sims. So for now, just to show you how to do this. We're going to sort the 555. Oh, actually, we got to take out this these close to lock-in situations. Uh, okay. Um, so let's uh, – we don't need that. Play all cost anymore, right? So I'm just to show you what to do here. I mean, you, you this this you hopefully have seen before. But again, we're just running the contest sims. Now, the other thing I want to do, by the way, I want to upload what I have. So that so this way, in case I do want to make changes, 
it'll save uh it'll save what I have. Uh I gotta download it from DraftKings, right? And now we'll upload it from here. Continue. Very good. Um, so this is our these are our lineups as we have them right now. So we did the the con oops, we did the contest sims. Okay, so let's uh sort by knockout. Uh, that's giving me this is our you know and this looks pretty honestly like pretty freaking chalky but i mean it's obviously it's a good it's a good one so it's good. we'll put that in for now at least boom we'll do the qualifier and again i don't really mess with these too much because i've already done the work right to get um to sort these the way I need them. Uh, we'll we'll do another one. Sorry about that. Uh, into the this world championship here, and we'll yeah we'll do that, and then we will upload these. Um. Okay, hopefully again. So, so my, the 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 idea, first of all, of why why I do any of these videos is, um, if if I can't teach you guys something that's both specific to this slate, and um, uh, will help you in the future, then I'm just not going to upload it. But I think that I've given you some really good ideas about how to build unique lineups using SaberSim, um, and being able to put your own takes on things that um, hopefully will help you both with this slate and in the future. And I guess, obviously, with these exposures, we are rooting for a lot of Tim Elliott and uh, the song Kanan is going to be our the death of us. I actually like him in the spot, but can I tell you, it's Su Sumadarji. I mean, obviously, he's kind of like a theoretical lock here, but ah, what can I say? I mean, I have him in the, uh, I have him enough in the, uh, in the big binds, I think, but I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to end up doing, but. Like right now, I have him, I think, in all the big buy-ins. I would hope so. I mean, probably rates to be the best player, right? Oh, no, not really. So it's either going to be, it's like really interesting. Like Tim Elliott, because of the leverage he provides and that takedown upside, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a really big deal. That is definitely a really big deal. Anyway, uh, That'll do it. Hope this was enjoyable for you guys. And uh, any questions, please feel free to fire it off in, in our Discord channel. And uh, if you're watching this for free on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to TrueDFS to get more content like this. Thank you.